How's it going people? It's your boy AC back again with another episode. So this weekend we also had Conor Ben on display up in Vegas. He traveled stateside to take on Peter Dobson. So this fight surprised a few people you know um, and probably surprised Conor Ben as well because this one ended up going the full 12 rounds and you know Conor Ben taking the unanimous decision. However you know, there were some you know, vulnerabilities, you know, on display. You know, you could attribute that to, to ring rust, but some people are attributing that to something else. Some people, you know, called up Conor Ben shortly after the fight, the likes of Errol Spence, Devin Haney, and, and Tank. But first, the fight. Conor Ben, speed, aggression, tenacity, all of these things. However, Peter Dobson, he surprised, you know, all of us, he particularly surprised uh, Conor Ben. He did some good things. He had moments. It didn't really take much of the fight, but the moments he did have really kind of caught the eye because then you were like, then because then you would make you'd make comparisons of Conor Ben taking on high level fighters and how they would capitalize on those opportunities and those successes. Peter Dobson was able to find himself. But he made up for his lack of speed with timing and positioning and he showed a certain level of composure as well so he came out after the fight and he basically said that you know Conor Ben had some power but it wasn't any power of of any major concern to him in that fight and then you know he managed he ended up going the entire distance Conor Ben you know went on to say that you know he felt that Peter Dobson was just trying to survive it was just interesting to, to see the the measure of where Conor Ben is at you know Bill Haney you know alluded to you know that Vegas stage and you know Vegas jitters and, and first time headlining so that could be something in its own right but you know Bill Haney being the businessman that he is he knows this game for sure similar to like the pro grade vibe you know you can see the scout mission you know to see you see if they can pounce on on any you know potential vulnerabilities because Ben Connor Ben does have that Ben name that Ben name comes with some clout essentially now based on the performance it's a scalp that you know these guys feel that they can come for because now you've got Tank Davis who you know a week ago PBC and the PBC boys and Leonard Ellaby were coming out saying that. What? what? To fight. First off, they're in two different weight classes. Just cut the bullshit. Tank could make 30 if he had to. He's comfortable at 35. Fuck all that. That's never going to happen. Now, fast forward to the end of the week. Tank and Conor Ben going back and forth and, you know, talking about jumping up to 147. So these are the things that frustrate the fans and, and make them question the state of boxing. But while meanwhile, you've got, you know, you know, you've got Turk Al Sheikh and, and them guys really trying to, you know, inject some excitement into boxing. And you've got Tank asking for- I heard in the media about David, he said to me, sent to me two Ferrari to play in Saudi Arabia. I said to him, we will send you two gloves if you want to play in Saudi Arabia. That's it. And big up Turkey Al Sheikh for, for the comeback. We're just trying to see entertaining fights. It's a poor display because Tank Davis kind of kicked this thing off, this momentum with Ryan Garcia last year. And then we had, you know, a fantastic year of boxing in 2023. And now fast forward to 2024, Ryan Garcia has since then already fought once. Potentially, he's going to fight again, linked with that matchup with, with Devin Haney, potentially. Um, however, you know, it's uh, we do not know what is going on with Tank. And, and we're just hearing too much conflicting information. And that's where it becomes frustrating for the fans, because although, you know, the PBC business, they run their boxing like a business and they constantly make reference to it being a business. But they need to remember that this business does not really run without the fans. And although, yes, you know, Tank does the numbers, although the numbers were shared between you know, himself and Ryan Garcia. So it's still we're still yet to distinguish, you know, how how good his numbers are if he hasn't got a dance partner uh, to do the deed. But it remains to be seen because now it's very important that they get it right in terms of who Tank's opponent is next. Because if it's not anyone of note, with all the fights going on, with all the possible matchups going on, the fans can, you know, they're not really gonna fall for it and it's not really gonna sit right with the fans should 
tank fight someone of not not of note and that's just the bottom line so um so yeah so it'll be interesting Devin Haney is interested in that fight with tank and potentially they're looking at that fight with uh, Conor Ben as well and you know it just turns out that this whole situation may have worked out in Conor Ben's favor and you know he may not even be interested in fighting in the UK anytime soon and that's a shame with everything going on we still want some you know big fights in Britain but it just turns out this may have worked in his favor because now, you know, showing that, you know, element of, you know, vulnerability, you know, he's he's getting scouted. He has a name and, you know, he might just have stumbled his way into some more big fights in the States this year. So, you know, money talks. So it remains to be seen. But yeah, so um, interesting one. So, guys, let me know um, who you want to see Conor Ben fight next. Is it Tank? Is it Devin Haney? Do you think he stands a chance against any of these guys? Everyone was calling him out after this fight, but while Conor Ben, you know, kind of fired back to the likes of Devin Haney. Yeah, what the fuck's he talking about? He ain't knocked no one out in his last 15 fight. What's he talking about power? He's never had power. When you want to talk about power, he's just jealous because he's never had none. You know, if he wants to come find out about the power, I'm more than happily show him. If he wants to come, I'll deal with him, no problem. He's easy work. How would Conor Ben fare against the likes of a Devin Haney? Devin Haney is a tough fight. He's a very tough fight based on his athleticism. So Conor Ben was getting tagged a few times by Dobson. So you would imagine that what Haney lacks in power, he makes up for in, you know, his boxing IQ. So, you know, potentially he could piece up a Conor Ben. Styles make fights. I definitely love to see it. I'm not really sure about the tank fight because his tank gonna jump up two weight classes now what, what, what to fight tank yeah he said what now with who i got stop it tank's gonna fight where he's comfortable at and do what he wants to do so guys let me know in the comments what you think but for now stay blessed stay tuned stay locked don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon peace